can we say that any variable is an address in C? For example, in the statement index equals 10, x is an address which points to the location in memory where the number 10 resides. Now, this question was asked in a comment to a video in which I explained that arrays in C are addresses. And it raises the interesting question. If an array identifier is an address, well, what's a variable? How is an array different from an int variable or a char variable? Don't those variables have addresses just like arrays? Well, yes, they do. But even so, they will be treated very differently from an array. And now let's have a look why that is. OK, so here's some code. Now, this declares and initializes a char variable C and an array of chars called A. The code here prints out the addresses of A and C. And when I debug the code in a Visual Studio, I can look at the disassembly window to see what actual code will be executed. That is, what are the assembly language instructions that are generated when I compile my C code? Well, this is what I see when I run it. Um, I can see that both the array A and the char variable C have addresses. The address of C is this hexadecimal number, and the address of A is this. Now, uh, let's get rid of that. You don't actually need to understand the full details of uh, the disassembly to follow what's going on here. Now, here I'll guide you through some of the essential details. Here, they, what's happening is that the two addresses are being pushed onto the stack and then printed when printf runs. And let's have a look down here. Well, here you can see that my code sets the second byte of A at index 1 to the value 6. The disassembly shows that the register EAX is set to 1 because I specified the index 1 of the array A in my code. Now watch EX down here in the register window. I'm going to step through to execute another line of code. And you can see that as I do that, I, I execute the line that sets A at index 1 equals 6. And I can see that the register e AX is set to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That is just 1. Now, the value 6 is moved into the address of A. You can see that's what's happening down here. And... And that's offset by that value 1 in the register EAX. And now I set C to the value 2, and the disassembly shows the same sort of instruction, but this time with no register offset. I could do the same thing, but with an address. That's the address of the variable and in direction. And that's what I've done here. The important thing to note here is that if you write an array identifier A, when you compile and run your program, that A is replaced by an address. So A is not a variable because values cannot be assigned to A when the program runs. Values can only be assigned to offsets from A, that is, from the address of the array. Another thing you need to be clear about is that by the time you compile your program, your variables and array identifiers no longer exist. All that exists is a set of instructions that corresponds to the operations you've specified in your code. Now, the disassembly window shows bits of C code mixed in with assembly language, and that's to help me with debugging. But those variables are not in the compiled code. Variables are high-level concepts in languages such as C, and they're there to help us write programs. But by the time your code is compiled, all that's left are instructions to do certain operations, such as addition and subtraction, and to store bits of data at certain memory locations. Now, here, both A, that's the array, and C, the char, have addresses. Otherwise, the machine, well, it wouldn't be able to work out where to put things. But A and C are treated very, very differently. That's because A, the array, is an address, 
and in order to place any data in the array, you have to provide an offset from the array address. Now that offset may be zero, which is the same as the array address itself, but the offset has to be specified. You cannot assign an address to the array itself. You cannot say A equals something. You can only say an offset from the array A equals something. On the other hand, the char variable C has no offset because the address of C gives the location in memory where the data is to be stored. When you write a variable assignment, such as C equals two, that is actually shorthand for this. That is, get the address of C and indirect or dereference, dereference it to store the value two in the memory location at the address of C. You can see that I've used this verbose syntax here and the disassembly is exactly the same as this simple assignment. On the other hand, this syntax, well, that translates into this. In fact, the ampersand address of operator here is redundant because A is an address. So you could write this. Put another way, an int variable i or a char variable c has an address but is not considered to be an address. And you have to use the ampersand operator to get the address. Whereas an array is an address. So you don't have to use the ampersand operator to get its address. There are also some other consequences of an array being an address. The most obvious of those is that you can't assign a new value to an array, to an array identifier, as you would to an int or char variable. But you can, of course, index into an array and change the data at offsets from the array address, including the element at offset zero, which has the same address as the array itself. In other words, you have to perform address arithmetic to put data items into memory at offsets from the array address. Okay, so this is pretty deep stuff, but I hope it helps to answer the question about variables and their addresses and how they're different from array addresses. I'll be back soon with something that's maybe a bit less complicated, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you again with something different quite soon.